Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are checking out today a first look video at the quarter scale Mark 43 from Hot Toys, and it is an absolute beast of a figure. I've been playing around for it for a couple of hours, and I'll share with you what I found the differences between this and the one in six scale Mark 43. Height comparison, size comparison, weight. Um, I'm not going to go through some posability. All I will say is that every part of the quarter scale is more poseable than the one in six scale. Essentially, Hot Toys have done an amazing engineering job to bring across not only what they had originally from the one sixth scale die cast, but they've increased the engineering flexibility features and I'll go through with that just a little bit later on so I'm going to show you the front shot of this then I'll show you the back with some differences and highlighting what those exactly are and let's start with the accessories you get a bunch of interchangeable parts the century diorama base head comes off this arm section comes off, you can pose it around and it helps you essentially give you more poses. So moving across, you have the bicep armor that you can take off to reveal the intricate details underneath. Obviously the chest armor can come off. Now this has been a major point that a lot of people have discussed. They don't like the white arc reactor. So what Hot Toys have done is made that interchangeable and I'll pan up so you can see this now. You can swap it for a clear arc reactor so it looks exactly the same as the one in six scale. So I'll get a little bit closer in there. So you can see the triangular features behind that clear arc reactor and I'll pan across to the one in six scale so you can see how that looks there. And that's how the arc reactor looks on that figure. So going back to the accessories, this little plastic tool is the most useful thing that you will need in the whole box. You'll need it for the air flaps, the magnetic pieces if you need a hand to pull them out, the batteries, make sure you use that, otherwise paint rub may occur if you use your fingernails or screwdriver. This is the Tony Stark unhelmeted head sculpt. Nicely done, nicely painted and sculpted. That's the neck collar when putting it on to the body. The usual assortment of hands, which are the articulated hands, fisted hands, and the repulsor hands. The forearm rockets, there's two types. Both are magnetic. You have a completely open just before he fires and the missiles there are detachable and a set of different style of rockets then you get the shoulder rockets there and the pole and the crotch rester I'm not sure of that even if that's the right word but I prefer those types of stands because it just rests on its crotch and doesn't grab it around the waist So for those who are not familiar, this is the Mark 43 diecast version. You can see it's got weathering, battle damage, very light battle damage marks, scuffs. And then if we pan across here, you can see that the one in fourth scale has similar type of weathering. I much prefer the light, completely transparent arc reactor than the white one. So I'm probably going to keep it posed like this. I'm going to pan back a little bit so you can see the size difference. The one in six scale is around 12 inches. 
and the this beast quarter scale is around 20 inches The air flaps on the bottom, very impressive. I like how it's been designed. Don't worry if they, when you open it, they pop off. You can just pop them back on. They light up behind and I will show that a little bit later on. Some other points that you should definitely be aware of. Always read the instructions manual. There are some collectors still who don't read the instructions manual and may damage their figure. So always, always, always read the instructions manual. It not only tells you how to move the flaps and where you should bend them from, but also warnings about where you could get potential paint rub, be cautious of this type of movement, etc. So always read that. One of the nicest parts that has been redesigned compared to the one in six scale is the sh shoulder pad area. Now, a lot of people have mentioned on this one in six scale, the gap here, you can see where the barrel, the shoulder barrel comes out and that particular section is very open. I think you can see that there, the gap is quite noticeable. On the quarter scale, it's very flush. The reason for that is that, again, phenomenal engineering, the shoulder pad is on a ball joint and is completely articulated so it can move around in any angle and will sit flush against the body once it's been put into place so it makes for a much cleaner sleeker look about it another point is that the barrel on the 43 one in six scale goes out to a certain amount the barrel here on this quarter scale goes further into the body to about here which means it hides the join much better so that's a nice difference shown there the elbows go to about 120 degrees rather than just 90 degrees on the six scale and pretty much everything is on a magnet system which is nice it means you're not going to have damage on the plastic if you're bending it too much now there's one little extra feature which I wasn't expecting. This wrist actually bends inwards a lot. For those who have the most of the Iron Man, you can't bend the wrist. They just sort of twist around a circular section, circular motion. Whereas this will actually bend inwards, so you can create more poses, maybe grasping poses holding poses things like that so that's a nice nice little additional feature there when you do open up the figure please be careful with the joints they can be quite stiff and there are areas of potential paint rub which is here on the arms linking to the chest on the shoulder air flaps and i'll show that at the back when i turn the figure around also on the air flaps here when you open and close them around the knee section so just be aware of those particular points let's check out the weight of these figures and some additional footage at the back of this quarter scale impressive figure we've just put on the one in six scale 43 onto the scales here and it shows 842 grams this is a die cast figure and you'll know that obviously it's significantly heavier than the plastic figures so let's check out the weight of the quarter scale quarter scale being weighed now and it is showing 1582 grams so almost double, just short of double the weight of the 1 in 6 scale. So you can see that it's considerably heavier, even though it's plastic. Let's check out the back of this figure. The rear shows off several articulated air flaps. Then working down, you'll see similarities to the 
one in six scale, the battery compartment for the arc reactors in the center here. Then moving down, this button is exactly the same to drop down the legs to increase the posability. Also, the legs here, you can pull them down. So when you pull it down, you get additional articulation as well. These are the side thigh air flaps. Just be note where you where the hinges are so you know to open from this side here then open from here and these are the calf flaps the battery compartments in the center so you lift up from the bottom here lift it up that tab use your battery inserts and then they open from the top here and here and then from the bottom here and here as I've said, don't worry if you pop this off, they'll, they can just put them back on. So don't worry because I did that on two of them when I was trying to open them. They're very nicely hinged and engineered, so when you close them up, they're completely flush. So nice design there. One thing that I found a little bit fiddly was the battery size for the cuff LED light-up feature. So what I did to help me is that I used one of these. This is the King Arts battery installer. You do not get this with the Hot Toys version. So what I do is you put the batteries into this little center section here, insert the batteries, and then you push down the plunger and it pushes the batteries in. This is a design by King Arts, which I found quite useful for Hot Toys figures as well. So if you have that, definitely use that to help you put the light up features on generally i don't use the light up features because i don't think they're necessary but for this one in quarter scale 43 looks absolutely phenomenal with this led on the on the calves it just looks impressive and completely different so i'm going to show you the front of this how this lights up very quickly i'm not going to show the repulsors because everyone knows what repulsors look like then i'll finish up on a couple of other things Just showing you the light up features, you can see the eyes are lit up here on the helmet. The neck bend for flight poses is really high, I mean really high. So simple ball joint but it increases the heights when he looks upwards considerably. So good job there. And then just working down you can see this arc reactor is super bright. You can just make out that I have the clear version in because you can just see the triangular shape arc reactor there. So super bright. And then working down, this section can pull upwards to give you more twist, a little bit of rotation as well. So you can pull this section up. Just be careful, there is a plastic sticker on the inside to prevent paint rub. So just be aware, I would leave that in there so you don't get additional paint rub, but I wouldn't use it that much as you don't need to extend too much to get quite dynamic poses. Then moving down, the air flaps and these very nice looking LED light up features on the legs. So I'm going to finish up with one more section of this video. One thing that you guys should notice is that the switch at the back of the arc reactor actually has two positions. One is to turn on the arc reactor alone, so you just get this lighting up, and then you move it to the other position, you get the side blue LED lights as well, coming from the side of the chest. A little bit similar to how the heartbreaker appears, so that's the second position for the arc reactor, it comes with a blue side chest lights just so you guys are aware of that it's a nice new look for the 43 which isn't on the 1 6th scale version just finishing this video with a quick look at the unhelmeted Tony Stark head sculpt I've put the 
arc reactor creation set head sculpt on the Mark 43. Just as a quick comparison of how that would look compared to the head sculpt on the quarter scale Mark 43. And you can see the detail is slightly different, the paint app is different. Because it's essentially larger, you can bring out substantially more details and that can be easily seen in the differences in the size. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you found this useful and enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.